Hi guys, Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf. Now, do you want less resistance in the backswing? Well, yes you do. You might not think you do, uh, but even if you do, you need this because it's going to give you more time, less strain in your golf swing, less forced effort, better on the body, better on the golf shots, better results. So, here's a very simple thought to be able to instigate that to give you more freedom in your swing. Okay, so here we are on the range. The type of swings that most of you have, yes, I'm speaking to you, is kind of armsy. And whether you think that you need to create resistance from the lower to the upper body still, hopefully you've seen enough of our videos to, to realize that the engine of the golf swing, the core needs to move, the hips need to move. We don't want resistance. You know, having resistance when you're 20 years old, 25 years old is okay, but even not for long. And you might even need physios every day. So we need to learn how to move efficiently in the golf swing, but not just rely on our hands and arms to sort of hit that golf shot. Even though it can work out okay, we wanna have a bit more control, a bit more compression, a bit more consistency and power. So how do we do that? All we're looking at, this is dead simple. What we're trying to do is create less resistance. So we're not looking to resist the right foot. If you haven't already, I want you to first to try turning your right foot out. That's gonna automatically help your hips rotate just that bit easier. But what we're trying to do is get your fanny, your tushy, your backside, your ass, whatever you wanna call it, moving that way, especially your right, the, the right side of your butt. We're trying to move that towards the target. Almost the tailbone is going towards the target just that little bit more. And what you'll see is we've got better angles in the golf swing here. And we're getting behind ourselves with less resistance. And from this position, you have so much more time to be able to swing through because we're not sort of here. We're not stuck. We're not trying to force ourselves. Even if you get to this position, this halfway position with resistance, and then just allow your core and your backside to turn. And what you'll find is that you get behind it so much easier. And you can make a full shoulder turn, even if you have uh, you know, some limitations. And I'll show you from this angle, okay? So here's where we would normally probably get to. And you can sort of tell from the resistance in my voice. But what we're gonna do now is move the tailbone and the, the backside that way, that way. That's where we're going. And all of a sudden now, I've got a bit more width, I've got rotation, but I've also got less resistance. And from here, I'm gonna have more time to get back on plane and to strike that golf ball. And it's as simple as that. So I want you to do two things. First, I want you to feel this drill with your feet and knees together. So we're actually turning. So when you're doing the, the, the feet and knees together drill, we're not just doing it with our hands and arms. We're actually going to move the tushy back that way because that's gonna give you that sensation. So I want you to try and hit a couple of shots with your feet and knees together, just half swings, just like that, okay? That's gonna make sure that you kind of get that rotation. Now, after you've done that a couple of times, here's how you're going to sort of ingrain this habit, if you will. Make your normal swing, okay? But then really feel like you're straightening the right leg and moving the backside towards that way. And here's how I want you to do it. You can even pause at the top. So we make the swing, okay? But really feel that you've got that space and room. And from here, you can spend all the time in the world. So then you can come back down and hit the goal shot. So you can sort of uh, encourage yourself to turn and allow your hips, the leg to straighten just that bit more to get that freedom in your swing. So a little bit more and then swing through. It's as simple as that, okay? Don't rush it, don't force it. Just let your backside, let your tailbone and give yourself less resistance, less strain, less force, less energy, better golf shots. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like the video, that is. If you have any questions, leave them below. And um, there's a cool series as well. If you click a link, it'll take you to a fantastic series on the website for free to help every department of your game and learn the simple process. Thanks for watching.